、いい正解。Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 105, Pay with One's Life for Murder. In front of the stone table at the western courtyard of the Shen residence, Shen Miao was playing chess with Shen Kaiyu. It was rare that Shen Kaiyu need not practice swordplay today, and knowing that Shen Miao's chess skills had improved by leaps and bounds, Shen Kaiyu has long rolled up his sleeves to win one round from Shen Miao. But currently, the outcome of the game was not according to one's wishes. Shen Miao placed a black piece down, and Shen Kaiyu, previously oppressing white pieces, were now surrounded by black pieces, unable to get out. Shen Kaiyu looked for a long time before asking Shen Miao, younger sister. Are not this the moves that I used in the first game? He felt that the moves on chessboard were very familiar when he saw them. The more he looked, the more surprised he was. As each steps that Shen Miao took were exactly like the moves he made in the first game. It was just that Shen Miao was able to play them better, and at least in this game, the route she used was very convenient and filled with ferociousness. Using an opponent's own methods to obtain retribution. Shen Miao smiled gently. Eldest brother, have you thought about countermeasure for your own stuff? Shen Kaiyu shook his head. My methods is to target the enemy, and it was to set up a route to death. Younger sister, let me find a solution to it, but I am unable to do so. Shen Miao looked at the path of the chess pieces on the board and faintly smiled. In the previous life. After a few years, Shen Kaiyu was imprisoned after killing Sun Kainan, and after much thought. More or less, the plan had Shen Yu on signature in it. One did not know that by throwing the same means back, would Shen Yu on find them familiar? The road of death that he designed for Shen Kaiyu, could Shen Yu on himself find a solution out of it? It should not be successful. When Shen Kaiyu scratched his head and wanted to put a chess piece down, suddenly someone ran in from outside of the courtyard. It was a second-ranked maid who was in charge of sweeping. The maid had a face full of panic as she said frenetically, eldest young master and fifth young lady, it is not good. Second young master has killed someone outside. What? Shen Kaiyu frowned as the chess piece fell and spin before finally falling onto the ground. Shen Miao bent over to pick the chess piece up before she looked at the maid and asked warmly, Who did he kill? In the prison of the administrator of the capital, Shen Yuan was locked up in the innermost cell, and his hands and clothes were stained with so much blood that they were shockingly red. Moreover, there were also some bruises on his face. This was Shen Yuan's first time in such a sorry strait. When he was fighting with Jing Chu Chu's adulterer, he did not know why, but he felt very irritated, as if his mind was feverish. When he woke up from it. Sun Kainan was already stabbed by him with a knife, and because the tavern was made up of wood, the fight had alerted a number of people. And with Tao Yuan's and Jing Chu Chu's screams, it almost immediately exposed the murder to everyone. It was until now when Shen Yuan's heart gradually calmed down. He was simply too impulsive with regards to the matter today. In Shen Yuan's life. The most hated thing for him was for others to insult his dignity. He already felt humiliated regarding the matter of the Shen family's banquet, but because he did not regain consciousness at that time, he could only tolerate it. Now the entire Ding capital's people knew that he was to marry Jing Chu Chu, but she made him wear a green hat. Everyone in the tavern seemed to also be pointing at him. Thus Shen Yuan was unable to control his wrath. One did not know where Jing Chu Chu was brought to. But since she was the root cause of this matter, her fate would not be easy. It just that Shen Yuan still find it somewhat strange. How would the people in the tavern recognize Jing Chu Chu and him? Why would Jing Chu Chu pick that particular room to commit adultery? He faintly felt that something was wrong, but he quickly shook his head. That place was the location where he would meet up with Fu Ziyu Yi's people. Other than Fu Ziyu Yi's people. No one else would know. Shen Yu, on though deeply, Fu Ziyu Yi's people would have reached the tavern, and one fear that they were already aware of the matter. At this moment, he had completely calmed down, and those panicked emotions vanished. The blood stains and the dark cell no longer shook him. At this moment, one saw a warden walking over and stopped in front of his cell. Shen Yu, on looked up and called out, surprised. Dong Hao. Dong Hao was the one that was meeting up with him. At the moment, he was dressed up as a warden, most likely to sneak in and talk to him. Listen to me. This is a misunderstanding. 
Chen Yuan quickly said, would request His Highness to help me this time. I will definitely reply His Highness in the future. Chen Yuan had never expect Shen Gui to come and save him, as Shen Gui was one would do anything to protect his career so how could he take the risk for him? Now only Fu Ziyu Yi could help him. But the imperial family people were not people who valued relationships so he had to prove his value. Chen Yuan said, the evidence that was given to His Highness is not complete in certain areas. His Highness will be submitting a report to His Majesty soon, so one request His Highness to save me so that one can assist His Highness to pen the last stroke. When Dong Hao heard this, his eyes moved. Chen Yuan's words clearly indicated that the evidence that he had provided to Fu Ziyu Yi to go against Shen Xin was not complete. Chen Yuan left himself a hand as he feared that Fu Ziyu Yi would destroy the bridge after crossing the river, but did not expect that he would be trapped in jail, and could only bring out his life-saving talisman. Seeing Dong Hao not speaking, Chen Yuan was somewhat anxious. This matter is just a misunderstanding and it is not a complicated matter to settle. I will fork out the money and His Highness only need to take care of the other side. Such matter had happened before. A large reason as to why Shen Yuan could be this calm was because this matter did not look that bad. So much so that it was even simpler than the family banquet in Shen residence. The matter of the family banquet was because it was in front of all the furans that showed he and Jing Chu Chu slept together. So no matter what happens it was Jing Chu Chu who would be at the disadvantage and coupled with the Jing family unreasonableness, he could not do anything. As to him killing Sun Kainan, only Jing Chu Chu and her maid saw it and as long as Jing Chu Chu and the maid testify, he could escape. As for that adulterer, as long one give money to appease and also let Fu Ziyu Yi's people hang a charge over him such as that person wanted to assassinate Shen Yuan but was kept controlled by Shen Yuan and the likes. As for killing, as long as one did not kill a noble, one would be able to cover it up at the end. Moreover it seemed that his identity had not been discovered yet. In the eyes of others it only looked like one had killed another, but do not know the name of the killer. Dong Hao shook his head and said, Shen Yuan. This time you got into a big trouble. Shen Yuan's smile suddenly stopped as he did not understand the meaning to Dong Hao's words. Do you know who you killed? A hint of a bad premonition appeared in Shen Yuan's heart as he saw Dong Hao slowly opening his mouth. That was the only D son of the Minister of Personnel, Sun Yanjing's son, Sun Kainan. At the moment in front of the general's residence, there was a large group of people surrounding it and those people had a vicious look on as they waved the sticks they were holding, that even the guards of the Shen family were unable to stop them. In the house, Shen Yu was hiding in Chen Rikayu's embrace and was so scared that she was shivering. Mother, second older brother really killed someone. As Chen Rikayu was pacifying her, her heart had some uncertainty. The people outside claimed to be from the Minister of Personnel and said that Shen Yuan had killed the Minister of Personnel's D son. Sun Kainan. They were making such a ruckus to enter and smash things up, but why would Shen Yuan ended up killing Sun Kainan? Shen Gui and Shen Wen were already outside obstructing but if Shen Xin's Shen army was not there, one fear that those people would have really broken in. Wen Yi Niang was hiding in her room and held Shen Dong Ling nervously, if it was really second young master who killed someone, will those people do anything to us? Do not worry. Shen Dong Ling said, if others want to deal with second older brother, what does it got to do with us? She sat behind the screen but the pages of the book in her hand were not flipped open. Young lady. Jing's ran into the room vivaciously and said, the people outside were so fierce that even old Furan was startled. Shen Miao's eyelids did not even raise as she asked, oh, how is old Furan? After hearing that second young master killed someone, she then fainted away. Jing's was taking joy in their misfortune. Young lady, this matter would not implicate us right? Gu Yu was deeply worried, after all they all knew that Shen Yuan killed another because Shen Miao was adding fuel into the flames behind the scenes. No worries, there will be someone covering us. Sun Yanjing has a high position and great power but the Shen residence is not considered inferior to them. Furthermore the final purpose is for Shen Yuan. So when he pay a life for a life, 
they would not have anything else to say. But will second young master really pay a life for a life? Gu Yu asked. Second master would not let second young master lose his life this easily. If there was not Shen Yu on bow then second Shu would put in all effort to defend second older brother. Shen Miao said, but with Shen Yu on bow, second Shu have a retreat route. In the eyes of second Shu, it is worth it if one were to lose a son to quell the Sun family's anger. Among the three sons, Shen Gui view family relationship the more indifferent. At least Shen Wan dotted on Shen Yu to the maximum but Shen Gui's treatment of his own children, be it be the deborn Shen Yu on, Shen King and Shen Yu on Bo or the Subarn Shen Dongling, one was unable to see a strain of sincere care. To Shen Gui, children were either helping his career or as his successor. No wonder the children of the second household did not have any emotions. If there was no Shen Yu on Bo then Shen Yu on would have been Shen Gui's only son and Shen Gui would definitely fight. But with Shen Yu on Bo, Shen Gui still had a son thus Shen Yu on was no longer necessary. Not to mention that it is the Sun family that easy to send away. In the previous life the person who killed Sun Kainan was Shen Kaiyu, and Sun Yan Zheng's entire family sent Shen Kaiyu to the prison, and Shen Zin spent almost his entire fortune to safeguard Shen Kaiyu's life. Sun Yan Zheng only had one D son and with the death of his only one son, how would he easily let go of the murderer? But only second young master will be out of luck? Jing's words were nothing striking but were relentless. The a young lady is let off like this. She is still hiding in the residence and did not come out. After the accident, Jing Chu Chu actually slipped back in and hid in the Shen residence with the entire Jing family. How can it be? Shen Miao smiled gently. After all she is the main cause of the disaster. Outside the residence's door, Shin Wan was persuading in Asari Straits. Everyone listen to me, the matter of the situation is not clear yet and may everyone head back first, I will give everyone an answer. A woman spit her saliva onto Shen Wan's face and with her arms akimbo, pay money when no debt pay with one's life for a life. Our young master was killed by Shen Yu on so pay a life. This matter will not end. Shen Gui was somewhat shrinking and was cursing Shen Yu on in his heart. At this moment other than the people of the Minister of Personnel, there was a crowd of commoners gathering to watch the spectacle. Some people laughed loudly. Was it not because of rivaling the affection of another than the murder took place? How does the beauty they were competing with look like? How about letting us get an eyeful? To be that impulsive because of a beauty, that beauty must be very gorgeous. When those words were spoken, the surrounding people also echoed them. The Minister of Personnel's people suddenly reacted to this. Now that the Sun family was in a mess, a perfectly fine son Kainan left the house but came back as a nice old corpse. At this painful time, they only wanted Shen Yu on to pay with his life and had forgotten about Jing Chu Chu thus when they heard what was said, they were reminded of it. It was because of Jing Chu Chu that son Kainan and Shen Yu on fought, and afterwards Shen Yu on accidentally killed son Kainan so that Jing Chu Chu was a beauty that brought on disasters. The Sun family people immediately said, Yes, surrender that slut over. It is her who seduced my young master, that shameless little whore. Quickly surrender her. Not to mention the Sun family, even Shen Gui himself could not wait to personally kill Jing Chu Chu. Ever since Jing Chu Chu entered the Shen residence, their second household of the Shen family continuously fell into misfortune. First it was the family banquet that tainted Shen Yu On's reputation, and now it was getting Shen Yu On involved in the case of taking another's life. Without a second word, Shen Gui instructed the servants and in not much time Jing Chu Chu was tied and brought out. Shen Gui gave a look at Shen Wan and Shen Wan said, Everyone do not need to be angry. We will naturally be reasonable. Since the matter was caused by Chu Chu, I will hand her over to you all and let you handle her. Jing Chu Chu called out miserably but how would the surrounding people tolerate her resistance? The Sun family people pulled Jing Chu Chu over, who was tied up like a pig, and gave her tens of slaps to her face. Jing Chu Chu fainted on the spot. You all better not bully intolerably. Jing Guan Shen and the Jing family's husband and wife rushed out and were furious at the scene. But they saw the Sun family sneering, 
It is no wonder one come from a small place like Sushu. It is one thing to be short-sighted but one has such bad morals. One is already an engaged person and still go around seducing other men. This matter is not over yet, you all better not think about it. The Jing family was angry and scared. They were angry at the arrogance of the Sun family and were scared that other than the Shen residents, they had no other backing in the Ding capital. And currently the Shen family was already not happy with them. Now seeing them fall into misfortune, it was good that the Shen family did not throw stones when they were down. How could they just stand and watch? After making so much noise at the Shen residence's doors and seeing that the skies had darkened, the people who came from the Sun family who had been holding on to Jing Chu Chu finally left. Before they left the woman who was leading sneered. Today is just the beginning. Yu Shen family should wait. Master had already written a report to the emperor. In this world there is no logic of letting another live freely after taking another's life. A life for a life. No one can think otherwise. Shen Gui watched as the Sun family's people swaggered away while leaving a mess behind. He almost could not breathe. The last sentence mentioning that Sun Yanjing had already submitted a report to the emperor was even more ghastly to him. Sun Yanjing only had one son and once Sun Kainan was dead, even if the fish dies or the net splits, Sun Tianjing would not let him live well. Now it seemed that even if Shen Yuan died, it would not be able to quell the Sun family's anger. When Shen Kaiyu returned to the western courtyard, he wiped his sweat and complained to Shen Miao, the Sun family is just too rude. They almost smashed the main doors. My soldiers could not even stop them. The pain of losing one son. Shen Miao comforted, naturally have to be vented. This time father and mother do not intend to intervene. Shen Kaiyu mumbled to himself, but Shen Yuan was never impulsive so even if Ding Chu Chu privately meet up with Sun Kai Nan. How would he kill another in a fit of anger? Who knows? Shen Miao said indifferently, perhaps Sun Kainan was doomed to die and it would be same in anyone's hands. In the main hall of the Sun family, an entire room of concubines were kneeling on the ground, and at the middle of the hall there was a white cloth covering a body. Even it was so, the white cloth was somewhat contaminated with blood stain. Ever since Sun Furin knew that Sun Kainan was dead, she fainted and almost collapsed when she woke up. No matter how others consoled, she would not listen. Sun Yanjing was currently at his late years, but at this moment both of his eyes were bloodshot and his cheeks were slightly trembling. There once was a traveling priest that did a calculation that predicted he would not have a son in his entire life. Thus Sun Tianzhen married numerous concubines but was still unable to have a son. It was with great hardship that Sun Furin was able to be pregnant with Sun Kainan and to Sun Tianzhen, it was having a son at an old age. Thus he was spoiled since young and at the long run, Sun Kainan developed a lustful and playful character. Because Sun Yanjing's position was high and had great power. He was afraid of provoking the tongues of the censors so he had long reminded Sun Kainan not to act ostentatiously. If he wanted to play around with female, then he should bring them back to the residence as concubines before playing. Sun Kainan did not serve as an official and only rested and sleep in the residence, thus there were not many that knew about him, much less the officials in court, who would not have any friendship with him who knew that he would die under Shen Yuan's hands. This time it really went accordingly to the priest's words that Sun Yanjing would not have a son in his life. Shen Yuan. Sun Yanjing was gritting his teeth, I want him to pay with his life. Master, Sun Yanjing's currently favored concubine said with tears in her eyes, one heard that the servants had brought back that female. When all is said and done it was that female that lead our young master to be at such a state. Master plan. Sun Yanjing coldly laughed. Do not play her to death. Leave a living breath for Furin. The beloved concubine shuddered. These concubines had experienced Sun Furin's method. Now that Sun Furin was carrying the pain of death of her son, one fear that she would treat Jing Chu Chu in ways no one could think about. Only Shen Yuan can be touched in the Shen family but does the Jing family believe that they could get out of this safely? A kacha sound was heard and it was Sun Yanjing who actually smashed the teacup in his hands. The pieces of the cup cut his hands and fresh blood was dripping down, but he was undeterred as he hatefully spoke. 
I want everyone in their Jing family to be buried with you on her. The entire capital was talking about the matter of Shen Yu on killing the only son of the Minister of Personnel and in Prince Ding's residence. Dong Hao was standing in the hall bowing at the person sitting above. One of Fu Ziyu Yi's hands was gently circling the rim of the teacup as he thought. Originally Wan wanted to present the Shen family report to Imperial Father tomorrow, but this for thing to happen to Shen Yu on today. The evidence Shen Yu on have on hand is not complete. Your Highness, do we use any method to dig the words out? No need. Fu Ziyu Yi waved his hands. The things that Shen Yu on gave is enough. Even if I hope for it to be more complete, I cannot lend a helping hand on this matter. Your Highness meant to ignore Shen Yu on? Dong Hao asked, it would be fine if it was other, but it is unfortunately Sun Yanjing and he is Prince Zhu's people. Prince Zhu will definitely get involved with the matter and if I were to lend a hand, it would only let Prince Zhu be alert. This trouble that Shen Yu on has caused is just too big. Fu Ziyu Yi shook his head. Dong Hao was silent for a moment, but at that time Shen Yu on will struggle till either the fish dies or the net splits. What if he were to mention your highness? Shen Yuan is used to hiding a hand behind, so one must naturally prevent what you said from happening. Fu Ziyu Yi looked at the cup in his hands, so not only one will not help Shen Yuan, one will have to urge the Ministry of Justice to quickly take action. It would inevitably cause suspiciousness if one were to kill Shen Yuan in the prison, so think of ways to feed him some things. Dong Hao quickly complied and asked Fu Ziyu Yi. Will your highness be submitting the report tomorrow? No. Fu Ziyu Yi kneaded his forehead, this matter will cause shockwaves but it would not be as loud if one were to submit the report now. Wait a little. He suddenly opened his eyes, but you better investigate carefully who had a grudge with Shen Yu on recently. Dong Hao was surprised, your highness meaning is that someone is up to mischief in the background? Shen Yu on is never impulsive and this time he killed someone impulsively and that person was actually Sun Yanjing's only son. Do not you find that this is just too coincidental? Moreover how would Shen Yu on just encounter Jing Chu Chu cheating? It is very strange. Could it be that Shen Yu on was schemed by others? Dong Hao said, if all these events were controlled then that person must be very familiar with Shen Yu on. To be able to force Shen Yu on to such a state. Fu Ziyu Yi said, this person cannot stay alive. The chess pieces I cultivated for many years are not to be destroyed by others. When he said that, Fu Ziyu Yi's eyes turned dark. He did not look as simple as he seemed. This chess piece, Shen Yu An, was carefully cultivated by him for so many years, not because Shen Yu An was resourceful but most importantly because Shen Yu An was from the Shen family. As to Shen Yu An's position, there were many things that could be done easier if he were to do it. But now he had no choice but to give up a rook to save the king. This carefully cultivated confidant could no longer be useful in the future. Not to mention, that he fell into such a clumsy and crude trap. This subordinate will definitely investigate carefully. Dong Hao said, it is fortunate that Shen Yuan had given the things to your highness before the accident. Fu Ziyu Yi said, unfortunately, one still need to wait. At another end, in the higher floors of the Feng's Yan pawn shop, Ji Yu Shu's palms were together as he grinned from ear to ear, just marvelous. Shen young lady indeed do not take much action but when she does, it is amazing. Originally, tomorrow it would be Shen Xin's turn to fall into misfortune, but at the end Shen Yu on went to jail. This is really a good timing. It is just a coincidence. Jiao Yang rolled his eyes at him. Most likely Shen Miao would not know of the matter. Do not care if she knows or not, anyways I have won the bet with you. Ji Yu Shu triumphantly said, bring the silver over to the pawn shop and hand it over to Hong Ling. Jiao Yang was silent for a moment but still said, perhaps Shen Yuan had never thought that he would fall into such a low and inferior trap. Because of his fiancé's betrayal and jealousy, one accidentally killed the adulterer. No matter how one hear it, it was not glorious at all. No matter if it was the adulterer, the woman that did not follow the ways of a married woman or the cuckold husband's family, when people discussed about the matter, they would only take it as a joke. Shen Yuan had talent and new tolerance, 
Moreover he was valued heavily by Fu Ziyi when he just returned to the capital. If time permitted it, he would have been a person of talent that would not be overlooked by the people, but who knew that he would tragically end in such an embarrassing way. Although this looked like a joke but the ending was very grim. This was because the person he killed was the only son of Sun Yanzheng. Sun Tianzhen will be submitting a report tomorrow. Zhao Yang, do you think that this Shen Yuan will pay for his life? Ji Yushu asked, What do you think Shen Miao would do? Zhao Yang asked an irrelevant question. What does this got to do with Shen young lady? Ji Yushu was confused. This man-made trap of Shen Miao, have you seen anyone retreating safely after stepping into it? From the Prince Yu case you should already seen that her trap was never only one action. As to dealing with Shen Yuan, it would not be otherwise. You are saying that she still have moves behind? Ji Yushu asked, the most, would be paying up with Shen Yuan's life. What else does she want? I feel that Shen Yuan was only one of it. Zhao Yang shook his head and his expression could not help but become grimmer. If she were to take action, one feel that it would not be one person that is impacted. Ji Yushu was silent for a moment before seriously asking, what kind of deep hatred does Shen Yang lady and the rest of the Shen family have? to be so at such a scale. Even though it is absolutely horrifying but thinking of it, there should be a reasoning. Could it be that the Shen family had done someone unforgivable to her? There must be other secret things that made a young lady to take such cruel steps and schemes. It is just that even Bei Zhao Sheng could not find it out, but it was unjustifiable if it was because the Shen family used secret means to raise her as an idiot. Zhao Yang shook his head. I also do not know but her actions are too public. This time letting Shen Yuan go to prison and since he is Prince Ding's people. Once Prince Ding suffer losses, he would definitely notice her. The people that were sent out also say that Prince Ding's subordinates are investigating the matter. It is not good for Shen Young Lady to go against Prince Ding. Ji Yushu was worried. Prince Ding's thoughts are deep and his means are very treacherous. Once he finds out that it was caused by Shen Young Lady's hands, one do not know what will be done in the future. Do not worry. Zhao Yang said, I however feel that Shen Miao is very familiar with Prince Ding, so perhaps she had already considered Prince Ding's intervention when she did what she did. Instead of worrying about her, one might as well worry about oneself. Zhao Yang looked at Ji Yushu. Have you found the person 3rd Z wanted you to find? Ji Yushu touched his nose, I will immediately send someone. Did not think that the internal Shen family was that chaotic. Such a big performance in the beginning of spring this year, what about the future? Aya, gentleman's son, who was like a prince, fell in love with a common young female and because of vying the affections with another, one was death and the other was injured. Is not this a scene from a play? From my opinion, that common young female look really mediocre, and one do not know why both gentlemen would be so blind to fight for her affections. It would be better for the two gentlemen to be together. Huo Long, are you reading some strange books again lately? The black clad female tugged at her long hair and spoke in a charming way, is not what I said correct? For men to start fighting, one must at least have my good looks. Really very spirited. A sudden loud voice sounded and when the group of black clad people who were squatting and playing heard that voice, each one of them stood up like the greatest enemy had descended and looked at the person in front. The purple clad youth's brows were handsome but they were even more arrogant at night. His eyes swept across everyone, why not continue speaking? Everyone lowered their head and did not speak. Zi Jingxing turned around and left. It was only when he was far away from the group of people. He stopped and smiled self-deprecatingly, the little girl do have some means. His eyes hanged down before looking at the starless dark skies and softly said, but I have no more time. 